evening sun shines or moon shines. I'm not liking the alcoholic beverage just because the moon shines at night and the sun doesn't. So it seems more appropriate that I say moon shines and not sun shines. Anyways, evening moon shines. How are you guys doing? I don't think I've recorded since Friday. And it's Thursday, so it's been a week since I recorded. Slacking on that recording thing. But you know what? I was like only one person watched it last time. How sad. How sad for poor me. Oh well, I'm not doing it for the views. I'm not doing it because I'm trying to get people to watch me talk. I really do find it just cathartic. It just, you know, I'm getting shit off my chest and moving along and I don't know, I feel like it helps me be comfortable with myself, so just I'm watching Roseanne right now. Um and it's you know I'm for some reason I find I don't know, something strange happened and it's it's disconcerting for some reason. It's kind of like disconcerting for me for some reason. But I'm watching like it's episode three. No, sorry. It's season three. So I watched season three, episode 22. And then I watched season three, episode 23. And then I watched season three, episode 24. So in, season, in episode 22, Becky and Jackie both had long hair. In episode 23, both Becky and Jackie had super short hair. But then, in episode 24, they both had their long hair again. <laughs> and then I finished watching episode 25, and they both had their short hair again. <laughs> Why do they want to fuck up like that? I don't like that kind of shit. They need to edit that shit better. I bet, this is what I bet happened. I bet they messed up and they were supposed to have episode 24 was supposed to be episode 23 and episode 23 is supposed to be episode 24. That's just poor, poor editing. I, or production. That's poor producing. Anyways. You know, I, I don't know. It just kind of like it takes me back to that episode where I don't know. <laughs> God, never mind. Anyways, um, I don't remember what I even talked about on Friday. I'm pretty sure that I did two different videos, two different recordings, though. Damn, I'm tired too. I was, I've been over at Chris and Kayla since Tuesday. Tuesday I went over there and I um, stayed with them during the inauguration. And then stayed last night. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I did. Just wanted to. It was, we had a good time last night. We just hung out and shot the shit. I mean, you know, I, and when we talk, it's not just like, we talk about pretty deep philosophical stuff that I think that some people might just be like, mm, let's talk about Roseanne and how the episodes are like, they have big hair discrepancies. Uh <laughs> oh. The Roseanne hair discrepancy season. So yeah, so then, um, like I've said in the past, you know, when you go over to Chris and Kayla's, you just have to be prepared to be up at the ass crack of dawn because those babies get you up. And so, for some reason, I haven't been sleeping very good. It's supposed to be some kind of planetary thing. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is that I haven't been sleeping good and I'm super tired. Um, but I got home. I, I went out and I did DoorDash and I got home about, I don't know, 5 o'clock and I fed the dogs because um, Stormy was in the springs. And then I worked out and 
watched Roseanne and freaked out over the hair discrepancy. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I've been doing this, um, I've been doing that meditation, the um, Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation from Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And um, it's like a four-week process because you're learning like this whole way to meditate. And um, the first week is called induction. And that's kind of like it is in... in hypnosis talk it just means like not necessarily going under but being in a state where you are programmable um so I've been working on that and you're supposed to do each step like for a week and I think I might do this one for two weeks but I've been doing the induction and um last two nights I feel like I have and the point of the induction part of the meditation is you, you you're supposed to get to a point in your meditation where you can like um, I don't know transcend like the body and the mind and actually you know the mind is mostly in control but you're doing it while focusing on the body and I um I do this uh, it's it's called a water induction meditation or water induction but you just kind of like sit there and you envision yourself like being covered in water from the feet up um, so you start at the feet and you know you have feet your ankles your shins your calves your knees your thighs your groin your buttocks all the way up past your head and so that you're like completely submerged in water and of course you're not really submerged in water and it's warm water but you know I'll tell you what the last couple nights I've last couple it's not nights it's just early in the morning last couple mornings I've done it it's kind of like I feel like and you're supposed to you're supposed to be it's supposed to be like no space no time no um, no thing so you're not supposed to I don't it's hard to explain, but I mean, I found like the last two mornings I, I, I was in that state where I was like nothing, nothing. And, um, and it's kind of, it's kind of, a it's kind of comforting, but then also it's kind of scary. And your mind is like, where the fuck are we? And it's like automatically snaps back. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to do that. You know, so, I mean, I think that, so I think I want to do it an extra week so that I can maybe get past that whole, like, fearful thing and actually make it to the, be in that state through the whole induction meditation. And it's, I'm not sure how long the meditation, the actual, because the following week after that is, um, I can't think of what it's called. Um, just a second, I'll tell you. Okay, so the next step is recognizing what you want to change about your body. And it's not, I'm not talking like physically change. I'm talking like, like different behaviors. So like, for instance, I'm going to work on um, the behavior of lack. Because I feel like that's something that I struggle with. And um, so you do that. You, um, you work on different behaviors you want to unlearn and rewire your brain so that you're behaving completely opposite from that which you're wanting to remove and then um and then it's almost like AA because then you admit to the higher power within yourself that this is the person you are this is the person you've been your whole life and you don't want to be that person anymore and then um, 
finally you surrender all of it to that higher power and um so it is very much like aa but not like aa um because you're not like going there and like gab into a sponsor about all of your character defects um So, like I said, I'm going to do the induction part of the um, meditation um, so I'm going to do the induction part of the meditation two weeks so that I can get really, I'm kind of an overachiever where shit like that's concerned and so um I want to make sure that I kick ass at the induction part before I actually move to the next step. And um, like I said, I feel like it's going to be because the, the induction part is like 20 minutes. The induction part takes like, he's, he recommends, he recommends that you, you spend at least 20 minutes on the induction part. I only did 15. I only do 15. And, um, it's actually guided and I guide myself. It's kind of like, so I recorded myself doing it. And then I have like music. I have like a, I want to say it's alpha. I think it's alpha. I think that's the brain waves that, I think that's like the brain waves that you, you admit when you're, dozing off and also they are also the brain waves that are emitted when you are in meditation like or just like zoning out I feel like I'm probably emitting those right now I'm freaking tired and this video sucks ass but what are you gonna do I don't care I don't care nobody watches anyway <laughs> And I don't know, I feel like I'm going to get better. I, you know what, I was having some pretty okay videos. I enjoyed them. I'll get back there. I'll get back there again. I just am in a slump. This whole election thing and all the, all the things, you know. But, you know, today I kind of feel like I, I don't know, I feel like I, um, I can't think of the, I feel like I kind of like got over a hurdle today. I'm doing DoorDash and I'm doing DoorDash out west today. And so I get an order to, uh, it was, I think it was Red Robins. It was Red Robins. And this chick got like this gingerbread shake. And it all had a gingerbread cookie taped to the top of it. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. And I hate the way Red Robin smells, like the food in my car. I don't like that. I don't know. It just always smells like ass. I don't know. Not that I smell a lot of ass, but I just, it doesn't smell good to me. So, um, anyways, I find out, you know, I'm like, I get back in my car and I'm like, okay, let's get this shit delivered. And so, um, and I was on a roll today, man. I was on a roll. It was like, I started out south and, um, they had a dollar incentive, which isn't a lot, but still, I mean, I, I was kicking ass out south and then I got out west and it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. My first order, I was supposed to go to Twin Peaks and you pick up an order and so I get to Twin Peaks and... For some reason, their DoorDash wasn't working. They weren't getting the DoorDash order. And so I, um, I want to sign that order. And, um, when I did that, then I got the Red Robins order. And so I put it in my car and I'm getting in my car and I'm like, okay, where do I need to go? And as luck would have it, I have to deliver this food to the place where me and my ex just moved from in October and it was my old apartment that I lived in before I even met her. <laughs> so, 
so I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, that's, and some chick named Victoria lives there now. It was very kind of like bittersweet. I'm like, mm, I, yeah, I used to be super sad that I, you know, I entered into the relationship and then I lost that whole, you know, independent lifestyle in my great apartment and now this chick named Victoria lives there and I took her food. <laughs> I took her some Red Robin food. Oh, but you know what? I thought I was going to be really, you know, when I saw that, I was like, what? When I saw the address, I was like, man. And I thought I was going to like, I was going to send me and it didn't. I mean, I was kind of a little irritated at first, but then, you know, there's like this voice in the top of my head. I don't know if it's the top of my head, but that's where I felt like it sounded like it was coming from. And it said, it's just environment. It's just environment, man. You know, it's all good. And you know, it is. That's all it is. It's just environment. So I let it go. And now I'm here in my new home. And, you know, I am here with people who, you know, love me and you know, care about me and, you know, care about my well-being and my happiness and, you know, so, you know, everything happens for a reason and I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be and that's all that matters. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like it was some kind of like, I feel like it was some kind of like, there was some kind of greater meaning behind it. I just don't know what it was. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That damn Victoria. She stole my apartment. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this and go to bed. And I'll talk to you guys later. And don't forget to live abundantly.